Hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines, and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I will go through a step-by-step -step process and show you how easy it is to create a beautiful portrait using just one light. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, now is the perfect time to do so because I am still giving away a beautiful backdrop from Kate Backdrop. This is a one and a half meter by two meter collapsible backdrop. Let me show you. It opens up, it folds like this and it opens up to something this big and it's dual sided and it's printed on non-reflective fabric. Now the nice thing about this giveaway is that I will make the winner choose what design they want that's available in the back in the website of Kate Backdrop. And to join is very, very simple. All you have to do is follow the mechanics in the description below. So as I said in the intro, this video is all about simplicity. In other words, I want to show how easy it is to be able to shoot a beautiful portrait with just one light. And the light that we're gonna be using is this one. This is a Nanlite Forza 60. This is an LED light, it's a continuous light. So the modifier that I will be using is this. This is the Nanlite Lantern 60. This is turning out to be one of my favorite modifiers. If you want to know more about this one, I actually uploaded a video just recently or the video that came before this of me using this one for some beauty portraits. But in today's video, I will be showing you the other attachments that you could put on this particular modifier in order to modify it. So we're basically modifying a modifier in order to change the way the light looks, okay? So let me put this here. Now the key to modifying this modifier is this. These are basically covers to be able to minimize the spill of this light. As I said in a previous video, this one actually gives you the same characteristics as that of a shoot-through umbrella. In other words, the quality of light is very soft, except that because of this black backing here, we're able to limit the spill of the light and control, sort of control, the focus of the light coming from the front. Now, these lantern lights are usually used for space lighting or practical lighting. In other words, they're put on top of a scene to be able to create a nice, clean overall light without any shadows. I actually like using this light like that. In, our, in other words, if I want to be able to light up an entire scene, I'd use this one. But I also do like using it as a key light because of the nature of the light that it creates. In other words, it's very, very soft. And with this particular modifier, you can actually modify it, as I said earlier. What are these? These are basically flags to control the spill of the light. So if you put them here, you can control the direction of it just going towards the front, which makes it similar to that of an octobank, but it is still for me generally softer than that of an octobank, okay? So I'll put this here, and I will show you how I use these flags later when I start shooting. Okay, now, of course, we also have here a reflector which we will use as a secondary source of light later but the key to this entire shoot also is this one the backdrop i really 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 love these backdrops from kate backdrops these are hand painted backdrops it's five feet by seven feet and these are two pieces of almost the same color now it's made again it's made out of canvas and it's hand painted and i love it because it's folds so easy and the texture that it gives once you light it up, the depth, the... Oh, you'll just see it when I start shooting, which we should actually be doing now. Okay, so the camera that I'm using is my Sony A7R Mark IV. The lens that I have is a 24-70 2.8GM, and it's set at 35 millimeter. Now, my phone here is basically serving as my monitor because I am recording everything that my camera is seeing so that I can give you guys a live view of what is actually happening. Now, I'm doing that with the help of my Hollyland Mars 400S Pro transmitter that's connected via HDMI to my, to my camera, and then it's transmitting a Wi-Fi signal that my phone is picking up, and hence, I'm recording here. 
Now this is a Leo Photo phone holder because you guys have been asking. This is how I connect my phone to my camera using the small rig cage also. Okay, so let's go to the settings. I am on manual mode. I set my exposure to 1 over 50 f2.8 ISO 320. Why did I do that? Because of this. Because all I have to do with this remote is turn it off and you can see my exposure, it's pitch black. In other words, even if there are existing ambient light here in the studio now, my settings in camera is not being affected by it. Therefore, all the light that I am getting is from my continuous light, which is an end light for a 60. So let me turn it on again and I'll probably put it on full power. There we go, full power. All right, so this might actually be overexposed, but I will adjust my, my exposure as soon as my model comes in, which is practically now. Babe, do you mind come in? Of course, our subject for today again is my wife, Coco. You look fantastic, babe, really, you do. We have to thank Micah for your outfit. We'd like to thank our friend, Micah Lim Chok, for providing Coco with her outfit today. It, she looks fantastic. So as you can see, I am overexposed. So instead of touching my shutter speed, I will bring down my ISO there. All right, so one thing I can already see here is that I am getting so much shadow underneath her chin and also by her legs. The reason being, even if I have a reflector here, because of the nature of how we flag the light, we are not getting any light from here, therefore it's not bouncing back. And that's why I love this modifier because I can just remove the velcro and fold it up and by folding it up you can automatically see the effect it's having on the image because this one now is being illuminated and is bouncing back towards her okay so that should be okay roll it up here and then put it in all right there we go okay so let's start shooting this. All right, I love it. Okay, babe, how about your, your left leg? Put it out towards me. There, fantastic. Oh, now I think we're a bit underexposed. Maybe I'll just bring it back to 250. Okay, cool. I like that. Perfect. Wait, I'll bring up the light higher a bit. And maybe I'll bring it back a little. There. Oh, lovely. There we go, beautiful. I love that, I really do love that a lot. Can you move one tiny step going here? Then your shoulder this way. Not too much, too much, too much there. Perfect. Move my camera back. Instead of zooming out, I'll just move my camera back. All right, love it. Can you move back a bit, please? There. There, beautiful. Beautiful. I think I'll boost up my ISO a bit to 400. Why am I touching my ISO in, in, instead of shutter speed? I'll show you guys later. And also with, of course, with the Sony cameras, ISO 400 isn't really too much of a problem for us. Okay. Can you put your hand this way? Maybe, um, yeah, there. The other leg, there, there we go, perfect. Can you bring out your hand instead of putting it inside your pocket? Just let it drop. Okay, don't forget, do this. And bring out your hand a bit. Okay. Not, not your elbow, just your arm. Okay, cool, there, that's it. Your shoulder here is too much there. Very nice. I think with this one, you don't really need to, to angle your body too much because you are thin anyway, so you could do frontal towards the camera, but the other way around, there, perfect. There, I like that. Good, good. Not chin up too much, good, I like that. Good. Then now, I'm gonna boost up my ISO a bit more, maybe to about 800, so I can bring up my shutter speed to about 100. I'll put my, my camera into burst, maybe about 10 frames per second. That's the reason why I love shooting with continuous light also, because we can do this. Okay, babe, can we do very, very quick movements as if you were dancing, okay? And I'm just gonna do a burst, all right? Okay, on the count, one, two, three, go. 
Good. Good. Beautiful. There. Beautiful. So, of course, a special shout out also to our makeup artist, Mela Jimenez, who helped Coco do her makeup virtually. If not for her, we wouldn't have been able to do this series. So that is it. That is beautiful, beautiful light coming from this Nan Light Forza modified using the Lantern modifier. And the one thing I like about this modifier, which I'll show you guys, if I actually open this one up, you will see that it is taking out the natural vignette of the image. So I want the light focused more towards her. That's why I like being able to flag the light that way. So don't forget, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, now is really the perfect time to do so, so that you get a chance to win the Kate backdrop that we're giving away. Okay, thank you very much again, babe, and till the next video.